My shoe odyssey took me unexpectedly to the Channel Islands Maritime Museum in Oxnard, California, where artist Cat Wiggins told me the story of how beachcombing and flip-flops became art. Please watch Lost Souls. Hi, I'm Katherine Wiggins, and I'm here at the Channel Islands Maritime Museum, and I have a piece here in the 25 Beach Collections exhibit. This is my piece called Lost Souls. I love this piece because each shoe that I would pick up would remind me of the different soul that was wearing it and how perhaps it was lost. These are shoes, flip-flops, that I've picked up off the beach as I do my morning walks, and each one feels like it's a soul, and it came from somewhere, and I think that's where the magic is. Well, I'm not sure exactly when I picked up every one. I have a large box in my yard. I'm a compulsive beach comber, and over the years I collect things for a couple of reasons. One reason is because I don't want them to be on our beautiful beaches anymore. And the other reason is because in my mind, as an assemblage freak, I find that someday I will be able to use those for something. And that's exactly what happened here. This flip-flop is more of a high-end flip-flop. Probably costs about $60. The person who came to the beach in this flip-flop was probably searching for his soul. This one here is more of a low-end, all made out of foam, probably really comfortable and expendable. Probably wasn't missed too much. I love this piece because each shoe makes me think about the soul that was wearing it. This one, for example, is one of my favorites because it reminds me of when I was a little girl. This was the kind of shoe that I would wear most of the time when I lived at the beach. My mother always said, you have to have shoes, you can't go into the store if you don't have shoes. And this was as close to not wearing a shoe as I could ever get. So this one has a special place in my heart. I also really love this shoe. It's very sparkly and it reminds me of a little girl who probably really, really loved this shoe because little girls love sparkly shoes. And she was probably really sad when she got home and the shoe was missing. So when going through my box of flip-flops and lost souls, I wanted to be sure and get some female shoes, some children's shoes, some men's shoes, because there are so many lost souls wandering on the beaches. This one I particularly like because I think the sun faded the color, and when we clear-coated it, it came out really rich and dark. And this one I think is obviously a woman's shoe. I love this one because it still had so much sparkle in it when I brought it home, and the clear coat just brought that out as well. And so that completes my collection of lost souls. And Kat, I hear that you have brought your favorite pair of shoes along with you today. Yes, I did. I didn't have to think about it for very long. These are my favorite shoes. I'd wear them everywhere if I could because I'd be in the water all the time if I could. Um, so here they are. I wear them as often as I can. I love being in the water. Cool. <laughs> Thank you.